Bubble Pop Kids here. I'm so excited. I got tons of souvenirs from Japan. Colleen dropped them by this morning and she made a homemade. Oh, she made a homemade and she got you like a fish and a kitty cracker. So bad. If you guys have been watching my show recently, my best friend and squishy maker Colleen, she took a little trip to Japan to go shopping, do a little sightseeing, and she picked me up tons of like the cutest little squishies ever. I have a few left. These are some of the new ones she brought today. And this thing is so, so cute. When you look at it, it looks like a little kitty cracker, like a little, I don't know, like a cracker, but it snaps. You can bend it. It's got a little clicking noise. It's so, so cute. I want to chop it up, see what is making that clicking noise. I want to see what's making that clicking noise. So do I. He also brought me this snapper fish. This thing is so real. First of all, it looks real. It's a squishy. Not too, too squish, but definitely some kind of a foam. I don't know what's going on in there, but it's got a little keychain. And I just love this thing. It's making me hungry. Keychain in the mouth looks like the fish hook. Sarah's way. Thing is, it's too real for words. So she brought me that, that. She made me a little homemade. Don't know what's in here. Gonna find out soon. Hopefully nothing too scary. And these two I bought yesterday. We got your Furby. Ooh. And Bunny Putty. Did you miracle melting bunny? Bubba, what is that? the original Miracle Melting Bunny. I have one of these a few shows back. It was like a little birthday cake. Now it is this chocolate Easter Bunny Melting Putty. So, so cute. Looks too good. There's no time to waste, your little squish of teens. We gotta start chopping, start squishing. Let's do it. Okay, Bob, I'll do it. As long as you start with the kitty cracker that like clicks. So bad. If you don't already know, chopping up squishies can be super dangerous. We don't know what's in these things. The scissors are sharp and pointy. Just make sure you have an adult or parent supervising. Alrighty guys, squish a chopping time. Yes! Kitty cracker. Is this a rice cracker bubble? It looks super delish. Is it real food or what? I'm so excited. I have been looking at these things since the morning. I have never seen cuter little squishies in these adorable little packages. And I am ready to find out what's in shad. Yeah. Here goes. The time has come. I'm so ready. Actually, I feel bad about cutting out this cute little package. So cute. And, ooh, here we go. We got this little crispy kitty cracker. Crunchy. It's so ridiculously crunchy. It's crunchy. Yeah. Wow, the closer I look at it, it does look like almost like a Ritz cracker with a little cat face and kitty ears. The back, it's got all that roasted toasty goodness. It's got a little note on there. <laughs> I can't read it. Ooh. Satisfying. Oh, one more click. One more click for good luck. And then my like, chop it. Okay, go ahead. I'm done. This is my absolute first little crackling squishy. I have never had one like this that bends and breaks. It's so, so cool. But I gotta chop it. Get to the inside. Let's see. Ooh, ooh. Something in the middle. What is it? Hmm. I'm not too sure, but it feels like it feels like a piece of sharp metal, like a sharp metal object in there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's it. Bubble, do you know I could literally do this all day? It like puts me to sleep. <laughs> Pop this. You keep the kitty cracker, and I'll keep the metal. Oh yeah. Basically, we get some bendy metal. You know, the only other thing I could compare this to is like one of those snap bracelets that you slap and it goes around your wrist. It's almost exactly like that. This is like a sponge, memory foam. Ooh, it's crunchy, I love the color. It's like peanut butter. All right, bubs, one down, four more to go. This is nice, very nice. I like this peanut butter color cracker foam, and I love this kitty bag. Move along. Oh, look at that little Furby, I just wanna squeeze it and kiss it. Ah! Bubble teenies, next one, our next squishy victim on the chopper. We got this adorable little Furby. It's so cute. It's like a bright neon yellow. Oh, it's so squishy. I could squeeze it all day. It's fuzzy. Love those lips. 
But yeah, well, I love the pink shadow and the pink lip. And like, the yellow fuzz. Loves it all. I do have to say the little Furby squishies are the cutest. They are so fuzzy, they're big. They always have some crazy feeling inside. Ooh, I think there's a light up ball. Weird. Bubble Furbies seriously look like little gremlins, but the nice ones, the ones that don't bite. Oh yeah. All right, and then, so we squish this baby up enough, and it does have something in there. It looks oozy. It's definitely like a green color. I got this little bowl so I don't mess up my table. Let's do it. Oh, are we seriously gonna chop our new Furby friend? Do it. Oh, it feels so bad with this little Furby cutie. Oh, it's so adorable. But there's nothing left to do but start slicing, seeing what this green stuff is, and it looks messy. So I have a little plastic bowl to catch the grossness. Oh, you're not gonna seriously chop this for me, crazy ass. How could you do this so quick? On the count of three, I am doing this and I don't want an explosion. I'm just gonna slice the fur bit, yeah. Ooh. Ew. Is that ooze? Ooh. That's a light up bulb. That's a lot of ease. Bubble, I have to say, I loved this Furby a minute ago, but now I can't take it. I can't take the green ooze that smells like, smells like broccoli. <laughs> Ew, look at this stuff. Oh, I knew it was going to be messy. I still managed to get it everywhere. It's in the cup. Little light up ball. Ooh, it works. It's amazing. Let's make a Furby soup, Bubble. Let's make a Furby soup, okay? Let's do it. Bubble, you need to go with my Furba soup. My Furba soup is good, it's furry, and it's green. Yummy! Well, congratulations, Bubble, for making the mess of the cutest squishy, like, on the planet. You tore it up. Good job. Got this whole table cleaned up. I have everything contained to this little bowl. Let's move along. Well, you are rolling along like a crazy person. From, like, kitty cracker to Furby to homemade. Can't keep up with you. On to the third out of five. We still got two more left. And this one, I'm looking forward to it. Colleen said it's not scary. She said I'm gonna like it actually. Ooh, it's crunchy. Let me see. Oh yeah. It's like slimy. It's crunchy. It's satisfying. It's got all the good squishy qualities. You know it does. But is it pokeable? Oh yeah. Poke! Poke, poke, poke! Pokey poke! Well, we squished, we got our choppy scissors. Let's do this. Here it goes. Ooh, is that jello? Ooh. What is that? Oh, what is this? What is this? Is this some type of joke? Is this a joke? A uh, little piece dropped out of this balloon. What is this? Whoa, it's so weird. It's like a slime or like a putty with these little balls. They look like little gumballs. What is that? It's kind of cute. Ooh. What is this? Waco! Bubble, what is it, Waco? Does it Waco mean fast food? It's a sandwich. Wah! I think I see where this is going. Oh, Colleen, I'm so happy with her today. Nothing gross. She has this like little fur ball squishy slime and I think she put some erasers in here from Japan. Oh, these are the cutest. Look at this little sandwich. Maybe there's more. I feel more. Ooh, more of this goo. Barbecue. That's a barbecue shrimp. Yay! You're going way too slow for me. Like it's too intense. We gotta do this now. We gotta see what's going on with Colleen today. Ooh, more of this. More. Iwako. 
Got it all out of there. Whoa, we got more of these. These are so cute. These are like those authentic Iwako little Japanese food erasers. Look at that. Those are like little dumplings. They get some sushi that looks like egg. Oh, that looks so good. I want to eat that. <laughs> little shrimp barbecue on a stick. I actually had a squishy one of those. Ooh, this looks like some shoop. This little one bubble looks like some shrimp with some beans and some noodles. Looks delish. Lots of crazy stuff happening right here, Bubble, but I liked it. I liked everything about it. I love the color. I love the erasers. I love the Japanese food. Like, can't take it right now. I really can't. I am loving this. You guys, this is crazy. Not only do we have this crazy, I don't know what kind of slime this is with all these little polka dots, but we have these adorbs little erasers. Jopinum. Oh, when that bubble, you would really love this. You had a squishy like this. Barbecue squid. I thought it was shrimp, but it's squid. And it's yummy. Not only are these so adorable little foodies, they are puzzles. Look at that. There's like a little middle piece. That is so, so cool. Ooh, I'm not chopping them. They are pretty squish, but they are too cute. Look at this little sushi. Oh, so cute. You know what this is, Bubble? This is egg sushi. It's on some rice with a piece of egg with a seaweed wrap. Unbelievable. Whoa. Egg sushi. I love it. It's a puzzle, but I don't even want to break it apart because it's like a little piece of tape as the seaweed. Oh, too adorable. And, ooh, this looks like some noodles with shrimp. Tempura. One of my faves. So cute. Another thing about these erasers, they are just so realistic. They look like miniature little doll foods. Ooh, there's lots of pieces. We get the shrimp tempura. We get some string of beans. And ooh, those look like noodles. And a bowl. You adorable. Put your little string of beans. Put your little shrimp tail. There you go. Two more left, we get these steamed dumplings. Oh, I don't know if you guys have ever had these, but they are so delish. Sometimes they have pork, sometimes chicken. Oh, they're so, so good. I cannot even take this. Look at these little things. Looks like they have a little piece of onion. That is too cute. It's like in one of those wooden dumpling bowls. Well, dumplings rock. Like, you don't even know about dumplings like I do, but why is there a sandwich? This is not Japanese food. Bano is actually fast food. It's not a traditional Japanese meal or snack. It's just two slices of bread with some tomato and lettuce. So, so cute. It's missing meat. Little veggie sandwich. Are you serious? Like no ham and cheese? Just like lettuce, tomato, and like bread? Ugh! Oh, that is the smallest seed I've ever seen in my life. Look at the shrimp. Woo! Are you a little sweetie pie? So we got one, two, three, four, five different erasers. Oh, each one is cuter than the next. I have never seen such cute little Iwakos. Adorbs. Oh, Iwakos are my favorite. I am only buying these kind of erasers from now on. Starfly. Bubble, now we've got to deal with this. Like, don't know what it is, but it's the best. So unbelievable, this little red balloon had many different parts. We had erasers, and now we have the squishy putty slime, whatever this is. I think she made it. It is so, so cool. Look at those little bubbles in there. It almost looks like a candy. Crazy. Sweetie Pass, I apologize. I have literally been squishing this for like five minutes. I can't get over it. I love the color. I love the texture. I love these little bubble things. It's just so, so cute. Actually, bubble from this angle, it looks like my kitty cats throw up when she eats Skittles. Oh, yeah. Right, guys, we saw this enough. The craziest squishy ever. I loved it. Oh, I gotta thank Colleen for all these sweet little goodies. Move along. Okay, guys, get ready for some Melty Bunny. Yeah, we got some Miracle Melty Bunny rats now. You know, this is probably the one I've been looking most forward to. It's so, so cute. It looks like chocolate. It looks like Easter candy. 
Ooh. Bubble looks like chocolate because it is chocolate. Like, that's what it looks like putty to me. That's melted chocolate. For sure. I think it's even like a melted Hershey ball. We get this. Wow. If this doesn't look like melted chocolate, I don't know. How cool would it be if it was scented? And all the little bunny fixings. So cute. The little teeth. Little carrot. Put it together. Let's put this together pronto because it's so cute. Like, I can't even take the cuteness. Ugh. Disgusting. Although, this literally looks like you left your chocolate bar in the car and it melted. It's Got a handful of melty chocolate. Oh, this is so, so crazy. I have never seen a putty with this kind of like a chocolatey brown color. Ooh, it is so stretchy. But it doesn't smell like chocolate, unfortunately. It smells like glue. Oh, yeah, let's build this baby. Let's build it and then watch it melt. Okay. I am making the bunny body. And then I have to make the bunny face and put all the little plastic fixings. Ooh, this looks like, this looks like a milk dud. Oh, that looks like a milk jug. Well, this stuff is like crazy moldable. Like, it feels like Play-Doh and putty, like, at the same time. If you can figure that out. Bobby looks pretty good. Time to make the bunny face. Perfect. And Bubble, this is almost like building a snowman. Like seriously, it's a bunny chocolate snowman. It's Olaf. So our little chocolatey bunny is complete. Oh, that doesn't look like chocolate. I don't know. It doesn't look like putty. We got a pop in these adorable little ears. There's one. So cute. Oh, quick, hurry up. It's like starting to melt already. It's like tilting back. This is crazy. Okay, there's the face. That looks like candy. Left hand holding a carrot. The right hand is empty. And for the final touch, as your chocolate melting bunny, bubble. Oh, stick into the table. It's not good. Okay, I got it. It's your bunny tail. A bunny is complete. Oh, so super simple to put this together, but it is melting already. The little pieces are falling off. It's melting like an ice cream. So, so cute. Looks like chocolate. I just love it, but it's going to be gone in about two minutes. It's going to melt like a puddle. Oh, I know, like, all the chocolate bunnies are supposed to be Peter Rabbits, but I'm naming this one Frenchie, because it looks like a Frenchie. So cute. Oh, well, this is genius. Whoever thought of this is unbelievable. This is, like, so unbelievable. His face is going to fall off soon. Oh, that's a red snapper. That's a fresh catch. Oh, well, Frenchie is over there melting away. Oh, you guys, he was so cute a minute ago. He looks like a pancake. Show you that in a little bit, but... You gotta look at the snapper fish. What are we waiting for? Let's take this little snapper out of the package and like chop it up. <laughs> oh man! Bubble, I dare you, actually I squishy dare you not to chop it, but to hang this from your purse today. Like, you're gonna look insane. <laughs> this is the funniest thing. You know why? Because it does have like a little keychain on there and it's huge. It is so, so big. Not an average keychain size. I don't know who would actually hang this from something. But it sure is shiny. It's so, so pretty. Look at that eye. Oh, the eye of the fish looks real. Is it from a real fish? From, like, the market? Oh, how can you live with yourself? You're over here looking at a squishy fish, and our Frenchie is melting. He's gonna be gone soon. Oh, no. I just took a quick side look over on my table, and I see my little Frenchie bunny. It's almost melted. It's turning into pudding. Ugh. So long, Frenchie bunny. It was nice knowing you. You lost all of your face and hands and bunny ears. Sorry. Back to the fissure here. I don't know. This thing is so weird. It almost feels like a hard, hard sponge. It's so pretty, though, but I'm definitely not using it as a keychain. And those eyes are just unreal. Staring at you. Oh, the problem with those eyes is they are real. I think they're real fishy eyes from, like, the fish market. Okay, just chop it. Just chop it. Is there going to be guts? Oh no, it's a sponge! Oh, felt disappointing when I chopped into this baby. I don't know, it was crunchy, it was kind of satisfying, but it is a big old brick. It's so hard, it's like a super hard memory foam. Not much going on in there. Well, the problem to begin with this thing is that it looks so real that the inside was so fake. How does that even happen? This 
this is what I call a joke. A squishy joke. Right there. A fishy. Ah! I'm actually saving this. I think it's like a super cute locker picture. Gonna hangs it up. There it is, guys. Another episode of Squishy Chaos. So many crazy things going on, but I do have to say my favorite thing was this little bunny melt. It's melted, but you could just keep building it again. I don't think it ever dries. Ooh, look at the face. So yeah, well, my feet were like these little iwakos. They're making me so super hungry. Like, I can't even take this. So cute. Obviously, my least fave was this fish. This is a squishy joke. After that chocolatey bunny, I think my fave was this putty. Colleen put in that balloon. Oh, it's so crazy. It's slimy. It's beautiful. So colorful. Thumbs up for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Love for you to leave me a comment. Let me know out of all these little wacky things. What was your fave? And we are going to have so many more fun ones coming up on the show. And if you want to subscribe, just click this big yellow bubble with the bubble gum machine and subscribe. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.